Welcome to the Eastern Civ Podcast at the Historian's Eye. Please subscribe, and if you'd like to be notified when new episodes are released, click the bell icon. Asia is the largest of the world's continents, covering approximately 30% of the Earth's land area. It is also the world's most populous continent, with roughly 60% of the total population. Asia makes up the eastern portion of the Eurasia supercontinent. Europe occupies the western portion. The border between the two continents is debated. However, most geographers define Asia's western border as an indirect line that follows the Ural Mountains, the Caucasus Mountains, and the Caspian and Black Seas. Asia is bordered by the Arctic, Pacific, and Indian Oceans. Asia can be divided up into five major physical regions. Mountain systems, plateaus, plain steppes and deserts, freshwater environments, and saltwater environments. Mountain Systems The Himalaya Mountains extend for about 1,550 miles, separating the Indian subcontinent from the rest of Asia. The Indian subcontinent is still crashing northward into Asia, and the Himalayas are growing about 2 inches every year. The Himalayas cover more than 236,000 square miles, passing through the northern states of India and making up most of the terrain of Nepal and Bhutan. The Himalayas are so vast that they are composed of three different mountain belts. The northernmost belt, known as the Great Himalayas, has the highest average elevation at 20,000 feet. The belt contains nine of the highest peaks in the world which all reach more than 26,000 feet tall. This belt includes the highest mountain summit in the world, Mount Everest, which stands at 29,035 feet. The Tin Shan Mountain system stretches for about 1,500 miles, straddling the border between Kyrgyzstan and China. The name Tin Shan means celestial mountains in Chinese. The Ural Mountains run approximately 1,550 miles in an indirect north-south line from Russia to Kazakhstan. The Ural Mountains are some of the world's oldest. Their average elevation is between 3 and 4,000 feet. The highest peak is Mount Narodnya at 6,217 feet. Plateaus. Asia is home to many plateaus, areas of relatively high ground. The Iranian plateau covers more than 1.4 million square miles, encompassing most of Iran, Afghanistan, and Pakistan. The plateau is not uniformly flat, but contains some high mountains and low river basins. The Deccan Plateau makes up most of the southern part of India. The plateau's average elevation is about 2,000 feet. It is bordered by three mountain ranges, the Sapura Range in the north and the eastern and western Ghats on either side. The plateau and its main waterways, the Godavari, and the Krishna rivers gently slope toward the eastern Ghats and the Bay of Bengal. The Tibetan Plateau is usually considered the largest and highest area ever to exist in the history of the earth. Known as the rooftop of the world, the plateau covers an area about half the size of the contiguous United States and averages more than 16,400 feet above sea level. The Tibetan Plateau is extremely important to the world's water cycles because of its tremendous number of glaciers. These glaciers contain the largest volume of ice outside of the poles. The ice and snow from these glaciers feed Asia's largest rivers. Approximately 2 billion people depend on the rivers fed by the plateau's glaciers. Plains, steppes, and deserts. The West Siberia Plain, located in central Russia, is considered one of the world's largest areas of continuous flatland. It extends from north to south about 1,500 miles, and from west to east about 1,200 miles. With more than 50% of its area at less than 330 feet above sea level, the plain contains some of the world's largest swamps and floodplains. Central Asia is dominated by a steppe landscape, a large area of flat, unforested grassland. Mongolia can be divided into different steppe zones, the mountain and forest steppes, the arid steppe, and the desert steppe. These zones transition from the country's mountainous region in the north to the Gobi Desert on the southern border with China. The Rubul Kali Desert, considered the world's largest sand sea, it holds roughly half as much sand as Africa's Sahara Desert, 
even though it is 15 times smaller in size. The desert is known as the empty quarter because it is virtually inhospitable to humans except for the Bedouin tribes that live on its edges. Fresh water. Lake Baikal, located in southern Russia, is the deepest lake in the world, reaching a depth of 5,315 feet. The lake contains 20% of the world's unfrozen fresh water, making it the largest reservoir on Earth. It is also the world's oldest lake. The Yangtze is the longest river in Asia, and the third largest in the world behind the Amazon of South America and the Nile of Africa. Reaching 3,915 miles in length, the Yangtze moves east from the glaciers of the Tibetan Plateau to the East China Sea. The Yangtze is considered the lifeblood of China. It drains one-fifth of the country's land area, is home to one-third of its population, and contributes greatly to China's economy. The Tigris and Euphrates River begin in the highlands of eastern Turkey and flow through Syria and Iraq, joining in the city of Kern, Iraq, before emptying into the Persian Gulf. The land between the two rivers, known as Mesopotamia, was the center of the earliest civilizations, including Sumer and the Akkadian Empire. Terrestrial Flora and Fauna Botanists nicknamed China the Mother of Gardens. It has more flowering plant species than North and South America combined. Because China has such diverse landscapes, from the arid Gobi Desert to the tropical rainforests of the Yunnan province, many flowers can adapt to climates all over the world. From roses to peonies, many familiar flowers most likely originated in northern China. China is the likely origin of such fruit trees as peaches and oranges. China is also home to the Don Redwood, the only redwood tree found outside of North America. Asia's diverse physical and cultural landscape has dictated the way animals have been domesticated. In the Himalayas, communities use yaks as beasts of burden. Yaks are large animals related to cattle, but with thick fiber coats and the ability to survive in oxygen-poor, high altitude of the mountains. Yaks are not only used for transportation and for pulling plows, but their coats are sources of warm, hearty fiber. Yak milk is used for butter and cheese. In the Mongolian steppe, the two hump Bactrim camel is a traditional beast of burden. Bactrim camels are critically endangered in the wild. The camel's humps store nutrient rich fat, which the animal can use at times of drought, heat, and frost. Its size and ability to adapt to hardships make it an ideal pack animal. Bactrians also actually outrun horses over long distances. These camels are the traditional animals used in caravans on the Silk Road the legendary trade route linking East Asia with India and the Middle East.